Let's uh, now go to Bloemfontein once again, where Ntlanza Khatlan is standing by, where the official commemoration of Youth Day will be um, taking place. Ntlanza, over to you. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Aldrin. Currently with me, I'm with uh, the Minister in the Presidency for Women, uh, Youth and People with Disability, Dr. Nkosazana Damini, who's going to speak to us with regards to, you know, uh, the importance of this day. Minister, thank you so much for your time. 47 years since young people took a stand against an unjust system. As, dang, as young as they were, they saw it fit to fight the brutal apartheid system. Fast forward to today, young people are complaining about jobs, about substance abuse. They say that government has forgotten them. Your reaction to this, Minister? Um, in 1976, young people one informed themselves they were organized they took initiative and they fought for our freedom at that time white kids had free and compulsory education this government has made free and, comp and, and education for young people even up to tertiary for poor people and for working class people it's free so you can see during those days you couldn't go to these universities like UCT, VETS and so on. Today we can. Young people must take opportunities that exist. They must inform themselves, they must be organized, and they must, as you can see in the exhibition, there are lots of opportunities. So to say they are forgotten is far from the truth. Young people are at the center of this developmental state. And one of the things we are going to do, even to increase the skills, um, is to get the Defense Force to also contribute in skilling our young people. So, but young people must always understand that rights go with responsibilities. They have a right to free education, but they have a responsibility to study and pass. They have a responsibility not to take drugs. They can't tell government they are drugs. Who's taking them? Who's selling them? They have a responsibility to make sure that they, nobody sells drugs in their neighborhood. Nobody buys drugs in their neighborhood. They have a responsibility for challenging and fighting gender-based violence and femicide. So every right goes with a responsibility. So. We are doing our best to give young people training because if you don't have a skill, you are unlikely to be employed. But we don't want only job seekers, we also want entrepreneurs. The NYDA is supporting young people who want to be entrepreneurs, it's supporting their businesses. So there's a lot that government is doing. Yes, there's still a lot more to be done. We are the first to admit that. Thank you, well, thank you so much, Minister. Well, Aldrin, that was Minister Dr. Nkosa Zanata, but they're saying that, saying that uh, with rights come responsibility and saying that just like the youth of 1976, just like the youth of 1976, the current youth need to inform themselves and saying that also back then, black uh, people did not have the rights that they have now saying that you know they do admit that uh, uh, government uh, 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 has challenges with regards to to you know creating jobs and and, and and also alleviating poverty in many societies but she did say that government is doing something and today's situation as much as it looks bad is totally different from the time uh, when there was apartheid or during apartheid children with you uh, with that being said, I'm going to take it back to you in studio. Thank you so much, Ntanzla uh, Khatlani. There at the official Youth Day commemorations in Bloemfontein, a bit of a delay in the start of the program there as uh, they await the Deputy President to arrive, who will be delivering the keynote address. Nadeli?